Jayaha! Good morning, beautiful people. What is conscious relating? What is conscious living? You know, let's look at uh, the topic of relationships again, uh, the context of, of relating couples. Um, what is bringing awareness? What is bringing consciousness? Simply bringing to the surface, bringing to the light, uh, something that would be otherwise unconscious, purely instinctual or hidden. So it means that Imagine that you have something which is under the waters, right under the ocean, and uh, suddenly it comes to the surface and suddenly appears in your mind and uh, becomes aware. So basically, when we talk about conscious relating, this is what it means. It means that all the processes, all the emotions, all the feelings and everything that is going on under the surface, the instinctual behaviors, the shadows, the lights, the beauties and everything, all that bringing it to the surface and bringing it to awareness. And what this does is really magical. Once you start relating in a conscious way, what happens is that you start becoming much more of the conscious designer of your relationships. When it comes to romance, when it comes to sex, imagine that you are just navigating things and navigating choices without really being aware of what you're doing. And so bringing awareness means suddenly being, hey, hang on a sec, I can be the conscious designer of how I create all that, what I'm going to say, how I'm going to speak, what is the tone of my voice, how I'm going to relate, how am I touching my partner, how I'm engaging with sex, what is my level of passion, what is my level of fire, what is my intensity, what is my sadness, what are my shadows, what are my joys. You see, this means bringing simply awareness to the way you relate. And in the process of doing that, it's not, it doesn't mean that you are mentalizing things, okay? You can be in the flow, in the intuitive flow, but it means that suddenly you are much more like there is much more mindfulness, there is much more openness, and there is much more conscious choice, there is much more decision, instead of being just like an instinctual thing, you know, suppose that, for instance, you are in a situation where you might get triggered with your lover, right? And then you just bring awareness to the, to the trigger zone, you bring awareness to what's actually going on, and why the trigger is coming to the surface, or you bring awareness to the fact that there is lots of beauty and lots of joy in the last few days, and you, you're like, Let's bring it to the surface. So how do you bring awareness? One of a few of the techniques that, that work really well are journaling about what's going on. You know, you simply write down, what am I feeling about my relationship right now? What are the five things that I like? What are the five things that I dislike? And you simply write it down. You start journaling about it. That's one possible way. Another possible way is to have conversations you know, with either your lover or with your friends. You say, what is it about my lover that I really like? What are the things that we do that really touch me? What are the things that we are not doing yet that could be potentially uh, good additions to what, what we share? Another way of bringing awareness is to learn stuff. You know, read books, watch videos like this one, you know, the fact that I'm talking about it right now and the fact that you are watching this video will bring awareness and consciousness, making conscious something that was maybe unconscious. You see how it works? The idea is to, you know, to expand in a state or in a realm where things become clearer, where the invisible dynamics of, of life are being revealed to you and you understand the energies that play behind the veils of your awareness okay it's a little bit like take the example of when you are dreaming right and you wake up and you forget your dreams what happens when you bring the dreams to the awareness you realize that there is this world of things happening right there and it is the same with relating with sex you know for instance imagine that suddenly you bring awareness in the in the way you are touching your partner you were like, what part of the body am I touching? What is the pressure? What is the intensity? And again, you can relax in the flow, okay? This is not about mentalizing things. It's not about bringing, bringing um, uh, stress or bringing uh, logic to it, <laughs> you know? It's much more like simply revealing, opening your eyes to a reality which is there all the time. And my guess is that once you start realizing that, and you start realizing how much you can influence the play 
of energies with your lover, with your partner, with your wife or husband. You know, it's magical. You are the conscious designer of your relationship. Start by being conscious and the designing part will come after. I love you. I'll see you soon.